Hey gang, welcome back to another episode of Flint Hill Catfishing. This is Brian, and I'm doing the intro from the garage after I got back to the house because I had a crazy start to this trip. Had a small fish take off, snap my rod holder, and my rod ends up in the water. I barely got down far enough, deep enough to grab it. And then I started the video, so I actually saved my rod, but it got off to a crazy start here, so hang with me and check it out. It's a big old gizzard's head and a big old head. That's that, what that one uh, hit yesterday that uh, was about 25 pounds and he inhaled that thing. So the, the water's running uh, really hard and it's washing some shad downstream. That's a, that's a fairly good size one, about four inches. So I'm gonna throw him on there too. That looks like uh, ain't nothing better than fresh bait. That's what they're eating right now anyway, if it's coming out of the dam. This guy hit it and snapped my rod holder off, guys. Not even that big of a fish, I don't think. Fish number one, that dude hit hard and snapped my rod holder off, man. Not a big fish, he's probably like six, seven pounds, man. He just mean, that joker's wound up. Anyway, let's get him back in the water. My hands are cold, man. Woo. All right, one more look, back in the drink. All right, let's put him back. This old boy here was ready now. Get at her. There he goes. All right, it's gonna change locations. The bite dropped off when the water started dropping. They'll probably be releasing uh, some more water soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw a couple more baits out here. And I'm out on the main channel of the river at a point and just gonna try to hit a couple eddy lines and things like that. See if uh, some fish are moving around or holding up in there, waiting for bait to come down the river. Got me a little one. Little teeny blue. Little teeny guy. Give me my I want my bait back. Give it here. Get it. There you go. One little guy. A little teeny dude. All right, let's get the bait back in the water. Hey Dino, look, look at that. As soon as I put the bait in the water. All right, so no kidding. As soon as this bait hit the water in this eddy, this fish killed it. Looks like a good fish. Well, that's 
good fish. Fish number two, y'all. He's probably about 15, kind of chunky. Good belly on that dude. He's been gorging on this shad coming down there. All right, let's let this fella go. Oh, yeah, that joker's got a big old fat belly on her. Look at that. <laughs> That's a fat fish, man. He's been eating good. All right, buddy. You wanna splash me? There he goes. Wrong way, partner. There he goes. He'll find his way out. Off he goes. As soon as the bait hit the water in that eddy, hadn't even got to the bottom, he slammed it. I still had the rod in my hand. I hadn't even put the rod in the rod holder yet and he hit it. I was taking up the slack in the line as it was going downstream. It's kind of fun. It's like bass fishing for catfish or something. I think it ate that entire gizzer shad head. I think he swallowed it too, but I guess he earned it. All right, let's throw another one out of here on these eddy lines, see what's going on. So when I changed locations and I came over here, you know, I was looking at the water to see what I wanted to do. That's a fish, I think. No. Nope. So what I was thinking when I came over here, I was checking this water out. I'll see if I can show you. That water's moving out there, but right in this area right in here is an eddy. And when you come around here, that area there is an eddy. And the current out here is moving fast. So I was thinking that those fish would be holed up in here. And uh, there was at least one in there. We'll see if there's some more. It, as soon as that bait hit the water, he slammed it, man. It's like a 15 pounder, he just went for it. Anyway, that's fun. All right, gang, so back at the house, uh, wrapped it up for the day. It was a pretty productive day all in all. We caught uh, six or seven fish, I can't remember, but a little cold, got a little wind burnt, but uh, it was a good day, man. It was good to be out on the river, good to be fishing with a friend. So this is Brian with Flint Hill Catfishing. Thank you so much for joining. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification icon if you want to get notifications when I upload a video. Thanks a lot, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.